Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I have a busy day today, but I'm running ahead of time. I've got about 50 minutes until I need to leave the house. I've come into the spare bedroom slash my office, which is looking very messy at the moment. I feel a bit overwhelmed. Really, I've, I've set this aside to do tomorrow and the rest of the week, but since I've got a spare hour, I was like, well, maybe I'll do a little bit, but I just don't know where to start. So I think I'm just gonna start with some more clothes because I do have bags worth of more clothes. <sighs> I might as well just find them all new homes. And then once all the clothes are done, then that'll free up some space to start on the non-clothing items. Another positive of moving into this house is that I've suddenly got so much space, not just like because the house is bigger, but I have a full double wardrobe in my bedroom with Keegan and then a full double wardrobe in here. Um, I just don't have enough hangers, so I'm gonna have to get some more hangers, but for the time being, I'm just chucking them there. It gives me plenty of room and some room down there as well. Right, I've done a little bit of unpacking. I'm off now to get my moles removed. I don't know if I told you guys, my memory is so bad that I forget what I've logged, what I've told you. Basically, I'm getting two moles removed today from my body, from my chest. I'll, I'll talk to you a bit about it later. For now, I'm on my way to this appointment. It's about a 35 minute drive away. So it's a bit far. It's taking me all the way to the north of Leeds to a place called Geisley. I thought it was in Central Leeds, this clinic that I'm going to. Turns out from today when I Googled it, I'm like, oh, it's, it's not. But that's okay. I don't mind driving and I get to explore the area a little bit. After I've been to my appointment at 12 noon, I'm gonna drive into the center of Leeds and I'm gonna park up. I've got my bag with me, I've got my gym kit, I've got my laptop, I've got a book. I'm just gonna use it as a chance to get to know the city, to edit a video. I am a bit unprepared today. It is very cold. It's still a little bit snowy and icy on the ground, as you can see. Um, I should have bought my hat and gloves and I should have bought sunglasses as well because it's beautiful. It's my favorite type of day. Bright blue sky and sun, but cold and a bit of snow, which is the best. Here we go guys, I have arrived. I'm very early, but never mind. Let's just go in. The sun is in the worst position. Right, I'm gonna have to do it like that. All done. So that was very, very quick, except for the fact that I got here half an hour early. Um, so actually in terms of timing, let me put the engine on. That was 30 minutes, so not too bad. Basically guys, I had two moles that were quite big, potentially could be cancerous, like, in the future, one bang in the middle of my chest, right here, and then one just under my, my left boob. And so, yeah, I booked in, I've been meaning to get them seen to for a while, booked in a few weeks ago and finally got them removed. So they injected me with anesthetic but in both areas and then they laser it off. And yeah, basically <laughs> I could still feel the laser. So they injected me with more anesthetic. I could still feel the laser. So they had to do three lots of anesthetic and it was like, you're taking a lot of anesthetic. <laughs> I've got a little aftercare package here. For the next five days, I need to clean both of the wounds and um, put ointment on them and dressings on them. Yeah, but they've, they've, they've gone. Now I'm gonna head into Leeds. So Leeds is the nearest major city, I suppose, to where I live. And this is where I am now, it's on the outskirts of Leeds. <laughs> modeling agency. I have lived in London 11 years. I have never once been scouted, which makes me think maybe everyone in Leeds is ugly, because why? <laughs> I was just literally just arrived, hadn't even spoken to you guys yet. I was about to say I feel self-conscious filming, which I do, and a man came up to me and was like, excuse me, are you a model? And I was like, no. And he was like, have you ever considered modeling? I was like, no. And sort of started to walk away and was like, would you consider it? And I was like, I don't know, maybe, and he was like, if you just put your details in here, someone will be in touch and they might call you in for a meeting. And I was like, okay, 
How weird. Oh my gosh, look at Cookie Dough Shop. That looks amazing. I've been in here once before with Keegan. It is so nice in here and it smells incredible because Penhaligon's the perfumier is right here. So I just stopped for a lunch at Pret because I wanted some familiarity. And it, tell you what, it's still just as expensive up here. Eight pounds for a sandwich, a drink, and a bag of popcorn. So yeah, it feels like London. But I don't really know where I'm going, guys. Because I've only ever lived in one city in my life, London, for 11 years, I've forgotten what it's like to explore a city and not know where you're going. Even when I explore new areas of London now, I sort of have a grounding in knowing sort of where I'm going, but I have no idea here. I'm just walking around aimlessly, hoping something tickles my fancy and then shows me a nice area. Do you know what I mean? Let's go in here, guys. It looks like a market. Leeds Market, let's have a look. Oh, this is cute. I think it's mainly food though. I'm not after food. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna say Leeds Market is a no from me. Um, now I can't remember what this is called, but I came here with Keegan and we had a slice of vegan cake and it was not good, but it's very pretty inside. So let me just go inside again. I mean, I should be exploring parts I've not seen yet, but if in doubt, start with where you know. <coughs> wow. This is cool. This is where we came, guys. We got a cake and we just sat here. Right, I've edited today's video, which is my day from yesterday. I'm now walking to the gym. This feels like the slightly scarier end of Leeds, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm gonna power through. If I'm used to London, I can get used to Leeds. It's a cute little building. I think it's a pub. They're building a scape here. I, my student halls were scape in Mile End in East London in uh, 2012. There's actually um, four pure gyms in Leeds. So I've come to the furthest one away so that it forced me to walk and explore a little bit. <laughs> my day in Leeds done. Yeah, I only spent maybe three hours there. I can't say, I don't think I've seen a lot. And I can't say that I think it's like a really good city in terms of really big. Like, I've been to Leeds a few times with Keegan and I went once with Leah back in 2019. And if you told me in 2019, oh Joel, you'll be living in this city, I'd have been like, no way. <laughs> I would not believe you. And it's a really nice city. There's lots of shopping, which is really good. It's not necessarily so far from what I've seen. It's not necessarily the sort of place where I would go and sit in coffee shops and like do some work and it's not like it's not like parts of London that I go to or back home where I'm from in, in Winchester. It's not like that sort of vibe. But yeah, it's definitely good for shopping. I'll definitely, when I need to go and do a big shop and you know, in terms of clothes and gifts and things, I'll definitely go there. And I've, we've been there on a couple of nights out, which has been fun as well. So there's a few nice bars and things which I know I like and enjoy, so that's good. I think in my mind, I was like, will I go there every week? Will I go like once a week? I'll go into Leeds. Um, I don't think so. And even if I thought, yeah, I will, I bet you after a few weeks that would stop. As soon as I feel more settled here, that would probably, you know, stop. And once I've got my like office in the spare room set up, I will feel like I've got somewhere to like knuckle down and do some work. So yeah, but I've had a really nice day. I'm so glad I've got these moles removed. They've got dressings on them at the moment. I was a bit concerned at the gym because uh, I did one exercise where I was laying on a bench on like my chest on a bench and I was like, oh, I hope I'm not damaging it. But it didn't hurt or anything. So I've got a last minute meeting tomorrow, um, which means I've had to rearrange one of my house viewings. So I'm in the process of trying to like reorganize that before the end of play today. By, by the time everyone goes home. Keegan's got rugby tonight, so he'll be leaving at 5.30. So in an hour and a half, he'll be leaving and he won't be back till 8.30. So it's my job to cook dinner tonight, which uh, I'm quite looking forward to. And I've also got a nice FaceTime with my mum as well. So yeah, tonight will be a nice chilled one. It depends how long my call is with my mum. Knowing me and her, it'll probably be quite long, so maybe I won't have time to do anything else, but uh, yeah, I was like, maybe I'll do some tidying, I'm not sure. 
but thank you guys so much as well for the reaction to my moving video it's always scary putting a video out being that vulnerable i usually save that sort of vulnerability for my members however i did want to give an accurate sort of portrayal of what it's like to move city because I know that some people will be watching my video either having done it themselves or they're planning a move or maybe in the future someone will stumble across my moving video and be like oh I'm about to move cities like how was it for this guy and I want to give an accurate picture of like how exciting and fun it is but also how sad it can be to leave your old life behind I've definitely gotten used to like essentially being a big fish in London as in not in terms of reputation <laughs> in terms of I know London like the back of my hand honestly I have spent 11 years walking up and down the entire breadth and width of London so I I know it really really well and I feel very confident however today just made me realize how shy I felt and I feel like a very small fish in a small pond <laughs> and yeah getting scouted by a model I mean I haven't received an email all I had to do he had a, a phone and he, was, he seemed legit I mean he was wearing like a branded coat and there was a few of them dotted around but uh, he gave me the phone and I put in my name my email address and my phone number so I'm imagining at some stage I'm going to get a email or something but I haven't um, I mean my initial reaction obviously was like <laughs> no, I'm not a model, and no, I have no desire to be a model. And then I was like, what if this is the new Yorkshire Joel? What if Yorkshire Joel is, oh gosh, look at this queue. What if Yorkshire Joel is a model? Do you know what I mean? YouTuber turned model. Um, but no, I don't expect, I think probably they were looking for younger models, like, you know, 20 year olds or something. And luckily I have youthful skin, so uh, <laughs> they might have thought I was younger than I actually am. Although you do need models of all ages, don't you? So we'll see. Anyway, this traffic is horrendous. Right, I'm back home. I'm showered. I have been on the phone to my mum for maybe an hour and a half and my dad. And uh, it's now time to cook dinner. So, Keegan's at rugby practice, so I am cooking dinner tonight. I'm cooking peri-peri chicken pitta with sweet potato wedges. Now, we have got four meals for four people. Um, so when the kids are here, it will serve all four of us. However, when the kids aren't here, come in. However, when the kids aren't here, we will just eat all four portions to ourselves. So yesterday we did that, we had to double up and today we're doubling up again so we're having double the portions but i'm excited i i really enjoyed doing hello fresh and now we're doing gusto i just i love it the fact that the ingredients are just there and it's all ready down to the teaspoon which is great so it makes it it makes cooking really easy for people like me especially who hate cooking this isn't an advert by the way i'm not working with gusto i'm also watching uh shane and rylan's podcast it is a podcast there we go here we go. This is a brand new frying pan. The first time using it. Lovely. I think it's made of granite or something like that. Here we go. It is all done. Let's hope it tastes all right. We've got the chicken, the onions, the salad. Lovely. And as per usual, I forgot to finish filming for the rest of the day. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, guys. I'm really enjoying vlogging more frequently again. Again, I can't like promise how long this will last, but I'm really enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. If you'd like to become a channel member, then click join next to subscribe and you'll get all the options over there. But just subscribing and watching and commenting or whatever is enough. So thank you guys so much for choosing to spend some of your day with me. It really means a lot. Reading your comments every morning is making me feel more and more relaxed in my new home, in my new surroundings. I'm like, oh, it's okay. Like, lots of things have changed, like my location. <laughs> but everything else is just the same which is really reassuring for someone who doesn't like change. It's very nice to know that we're still here. Same YouTube channel, same videos, same viewers. You guys are the same, I'm the same. So that's good. Anyway, this keeps going on. Um, see you guys next time, bye.